this often had useful things in them. Welcome ladies and gentlemen, my name is Nusha and we are playing Velvet Assassin. This is my walkthrough where we'll get all the secret objectives and letters and collectibles. Our first collectibles is here right in the beginning. So you just need to push that thing there and there it is. So we will run about halfway here and then we'll sneak. We'll just upgrade our character, and if you want a similar gameplay experience I play, I will uh, recommend you to upgrade as I have done. So, I'm playing on the hardest possible difficulty, so I am extra careful with everything because I don't want to mess up. Remember to search this body because there is a key that opened that door. I, I've been in that switch, so I, just did, I didn't know that he had the key, so yeah, he has the key for this door, so if you're stuck there, that, there is the key. Uh, break this fuse box and the uh, guard over here will go uh, investigate that light and that's a good opportunity to take me out. You can't be seen from this guard all the way over here because it is dark. Uh, you can actually rush this uh, guard a bit if you want to, uh, but uh, you can run when it's dark and then go to the left, uh, space to the left and whistle uh, to lure him uh, down this corridor. Uh, this walkthrough is designed to be easy, so I'm gonna show you an easy and safe way to take the enemies out if I can. So we'll wait until he goes... Oh, I should follow him, I just talked. Okay, I will speed up time. <laughs> yeah, so the next time he turns around, uh, follow him. I should have done this earlier, so uh, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> Uh, sometimes when you do commentary, you forget to play because I'm trying to think. Yeah, so we will. Uh, he will come back once more, and this is about safe distance where you can hide in shadow. They can spot you in the harder difficulties, even in the shadow, so you are not completely safe. But this is a safe distance. So we will follow him as soon as he turns around. There will be a space to our right. We will go inside there and hide in the corners and wait wait until he goes past us, and we will take him out. Okay, so now we will follow him and go to the space to the right. You can actually take him out right away if you are in a hurry, but we don't. We, we are trying to make this safe, so let's just wait for him to go past. It's not a long while we need to wait. And there we go. Okay, cool. So let's run. We can run here. There are no guards around. And uh, here we have our second, second uh, collectible. So let's get it. Okay, cool. And uh, where I go now is to this uh, sign here. Quartery. Or quarters, I would guess it means. You can run here. Fragments. Creeping silently over that was impossible. To lure this officer, wait until he has uh, moved a bit and then we will turn off the radio and he will go back and turn it on again. So let's wait for him to be in the other room and then we turn off the radio and we will go to the shadows and use the pillar to break his line of sight, just to be safe. And then we will kill him. And pick up his body and remember to search his body because he has a key to a room where we, we, we need a collectible, so yeah. And this part can be a little bit tricky because there are broken glass. And I'm just careful because... Yeah, I'm avoiding the broken glass, that's why I inch myself. So wait until the light go off and then you can go past here. And they will have a conversation now for quite a while. So we will p open this door and uh, our fur collectible is over here. So then we will crawl into this space and wait until... Uh, wait until they are done with their conversation. Und wenn es so wäre. Keine Sorge. Ich spioniere nicht für die Kettenhunde. Sollen 
die doch da machen, was sie wollen. Ich will's gar nicht wissen. Das ist die gleiche Scheiße. Ist doch besser so. Du weißt gar nicht, wie sehr manche Scheiße stinken kann. Was willst du damit sagen? Vielleicht kommst du noch von selber drauf. Ah, hier riecht's nach Desinfektionsmittel. Magst du den Geruch auch so gern? Oder von Dieselöl. Du hast sie ja nicht alle. Ich gehe wieder. Okay, he will go front of us, uh, and as soon as he will go uh, to us, and then when he turns around, we will go after him and get him. So just wait until he turns around. I'm already calling here, so we are ready. And there is the gas mask. We need that to, to be able to progress to the next area. Okay, we, I just uh, saw the guard go here, so hug the wall and get behind him and kill him. Okay, cool, so we have got all the guards in this area, so let's get the gas I mask. Make good use of the mask. And uh, I will show you where the ladder is. Here is the ladder. So we are done with this area. And we will now go to the munitions area. Uh, it's something in ammunition, it means like ammunition and explosives, uh, you can see the sign. And if you want some morphine, there is some morphine there, there are health spread out in the room. As you can see, munition, lager, explosions, this is where we want to go. But first we will go all the way up, follow the stairs all the way up, because there is a room with a collectible right up here. And there you see it, so cool, we have it, so we can continue to go down again. And uh, wait until you see a door. Oh, I missed it. There it is. Uh, you can see the letters there, if you get lost, uh, you have a map also. Oh, I don't want that. Uh, uh, you have a map also, so you can find it, but there it is. Uh, we will wait for this guard, he will go inside this room, so we will wait until he does that. There is a second guard standing in that corridor, but we will take this guard out first. And then we will pick up the body here. And I will usually drag it over here. Let's do it a little bit better. And we will take uh, care of the guard in the corridor. Uh, you need to break this uh, because otherwise uh, he can spot you uh, while the light go on there. So you can break the light by breaking it here. Uh, so uh, when you are at this space, uh, whistle and go into this corner that will mean uh, he will go past you and you can take him out and there we go uh, these guards will have a conversation so wait until they have started a conversation there is a guard they will talk a lot and then you will follow the shadows, you see the moving shadows here. Uh, as soon as they start stalking, we will take the next shadow and follow it. Then we will continue here. We are we go in here to fetch some explosives. Well, this part is a little bit tricky. I usually mess up. Actually, I messed up before this cut here, and I will try to do it again here. Uh, we have a good time enough to do it. So wait until the light go out here again before you cross the room and get behind that guard and kill him. Warning: the door was electrified. I definitely had to turn off the power first. <laughs> Yeah, and now we come to the tricky part. I usually mess this up. Uh, I don't really know why this part is so messed up, but I will try to explain it. Uh, we need to press that lever to distract that guard, so when we go past it, we will 
Press that lever and then we will follow the shadows here. And go here. And it's really tricky. And our collectible is over here. I would go fetch it because that guy, uh, he is the one that messes everything up to me because he has a, such a randomness. A random pattern how he moves about so I usually wait until I feel like I have him in a good position actually I will use to use morphine and kill him because he is really weird he got me the last time and the thing with him yeah the collectible is over there the thing with him is that he, when he get alerted, he, he would go over here, sometimes he would go here, and sometimes he would go there. He's completely random and then would stand in a weird angle, so yeah, I rushed him with morphine. Uh, yes, cool. So uh, now we turn, need to turn off the elixir here, and now we can get our explosives. Uh, let's find our way out. Let's see, there is the place. And we need to go inside here, and the explosives over Very here. Nice. That would do to blow up the fuel depot. Okay, cool. So, and uh, now we are gonna go back. You remember the guards that had the conversation when we sneak past them? This time we will take him out because we, we, the wine bottle is hidden in that room. Uh, sneak here and don't go into the light because they are, uh, the guard is over there. So we'll wait until he turns this back to us and we'll sneak over here and go uh, right ahead and uh, he will come back so we will wait for him and take him out here. Okay cool, so let's take him out. And usually, I would recommend to drag his body inside here. I have been in a situation where the other guard has spotted him, and so drag him in there to just to be super safe. Uh, and this guard will go uh, back and forth here, so let's try to follow him. Okay, I shake it out. Uh, because uh, he is on a very tight patrol, so... As you see, uh, there is a very uh, thin, uh, it's a very small window of, of opportunity to take him out. That's why I don't like that guard either. Okay, so we'll smash this and here is our wine bottle over there. A fine French wine, exactly the right thing for a toast to the success of the mission later. Okay, cool. So we can upgrade again and I will go over the morphine this time. Okay, cool. So now we can run all the way back without any fear because all the guards are out. Okay, cool. We go down. All the way down. And now we need to go to the other area. And here is where we need to use our gas mask. Wait, I will actually go, go for the morphine here. Uh, get the morphine for one of the guards here because I don't like him. Uh, and I, I'm gonna show you an easy way I found out by doing this. I've played with through this guy level five times before this walkthrough. So if you run all the way down there, you will alert the guards. Otherwise, they will have a very long conversation. So we will run all the way down and sneak here that was the fuel and go directly to your right. And that will alert uh, that guard there. And uh, that way we won't have a conversation. They talk about uh, he's stolen some uh, chocolate, and we will rush him here. And we are far enough to be safe from that guard, so now we can take out that's a So now you can take wait a moment uh, if you want to uh, actually and take him out. Um, here, if you want to, 
uh, there I will show you I'm just waiting for the guard here I don't know where he is okay I'm waiting for him uh, to move past so we can move past him more easy okay cool uh, usually he will stand here, but I got him early. If he stand here, just take his body and drag it inside here. There, there is no... And here we have our last collectible. And this is the last card. Okay, cool, so... The, let's go over this. Here is the collectible right here. And uh, the guard, if you don't uh, are fast enough, he will wait here. So you, uh, the other guard, this guard, uh, he will be here. But I adapted to the situation. Cool. Uh, so let's break just for, because we can. And then you need to push these uh, rocks over here so we can climb up. The last part you can do sneak is we need to shoot everyone. <laughs> Okay, cool, we can climb that now. And uh, the na last part you need to shoot people actually here. So uh, we will place, so follow me correctly. Okay, play, plant, or, uh, plant those explosives and we'll run inside here and you will see uh, a locker with the eagle on and with uh, a shotgun. And, and then go right ahead here. And there will be two guards here to shoot. And there will be one more guard. Okay, cool. And then just run. Uh, you will come to a room with barrels. Shoot the barrels and that will kill all the guards. As you see, that killed all the guards, so we are done here. And now we just need to run. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's how you get all the collectibles, the ladders and the secret objective of uh, this mission. And uh, with assassin rating. Assassin rating means that you have killed everyone silently that you can. I will show you this uh, the cutscene and uh, in the next episode we will uh, start with a new mission. In France there was a man whom I'd always wanted to meet. Colonel Willy Schunzel, better known as the Butcher of Paris. It was no wonder that he was at the top of the list. It is just that so far no one had succeeded in coming close to him. We had learned that Chancellor wanted to see the looted art in the cathedral. As ever, he followed the siren call of gold. It was reported that every entrance to the interior of the cathedral was blocked, except for one door which led down into the crypt. However, the entire area was heavily guarded. I had to keep my eyes open, but an opportunity always arises. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that was everything for this episode. In the next episode, we will be here in Paris and uh, we will, of course, get all the collectibles, the letters, or secret objectives. And as always, thank you for watching. <laughs>